The selling board jet master stakes has gone to number seven crown towers he was uh, obviously coming back from that queen's plate run and obviously we knew his form was a lot better than that and justin great gutsy one you got to say yeah i must be honest it is a little bit of a surprise uh, it, it was a very very good ride uh, bernard at his best uh, obviously a holiday in botswana uh, probably um you know just before he gets engaged uh, you know a bit of time off certainly worked for him and uh, really well done i thought it was probably uh, of, as I said, one of the better rides I've seen this season. So really well done to him, to Helga, Nick Johnson, everybody, the whole Mitchell family. Just really well done. Uh, he deserves it. He's a horse that's always run creditable races. He's run, uh, you know, on July day and things like that. And you'll probably head off back to the Natal season. We'll just see what happens with the handicapping, stuff like that, and then make a decision on his future. Fantastic stuff. And always nice to win a race on a day like this with the, the Malaysian guys here and the guys from Selangor involved. Yes, I know there's been a great uh, relationship over many years with the Malaysian Turf Club, so it's just very nice to, to win this race. And they are all here, and so are most of all the delegates. So I, I think it's a good day to r train some winners. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. We've got that Richard Cham, the chairman of the Selangor Turf Club, and he's got your winning trophy as well. Wonderful to have Richard and Louise back here. 22 years. Okay, there we go. Rich has just confirmed 22 years. That's what the arrangement's been. And uh, I know Rich has been here for quite a few of them as well with Louise. Richard, great to have you guys on course again as well. Justin, congratulations. Thank you very much. Excellent stuff. We're going to call Nick Johnson in now, who's going to represent the winning owners. Nick, well done. Obviously a horse that's uh, been running in some big feature races and obviously found a nice race here. And uh, I thought it was a very gutsy win. You must be delighted. Yeah, thanks, Grant. Lovely win. Um, yeah, he's got really good form, actually. Um, the Queen's Plate, obviously, you know, it can be ignored. Yeah. Um, Bernard stopped riding him a long way out, so, so that couldn't be ignored. Um, and he's a really nice horse, and, you know, he was a very difficult three-year-old. Yeah. So I think he's settling now, and he's, uh, you know, he's, he'll give us some fun. Um, yeah. It looks like he's still improving a little bit as well, so he might still have a lot of fun in the case that in season. Yeah, hopefully. We actually had a discussion last night about which horses are going to Durban and, or not, and um, he was sort of questionable. Justin and I are quite keen, and Jonathan maybe wasn't, but I think after that win, um, our mind's probably made up that he <laughs> must go. A uh, lovely ride from Bernard. Um, uh, so, uh, lovely to win the Jetmaster stakes also, because my uncle, as you know, bred Jetmaster. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, lo lovely win. Bit of a family affair coming through there as well. We've got a trophy for you as well from one of the representatives of the Selinger Turf Club. Fantastic stuff. A very nice win from Crown Towers. He's a son of Camelot as well, so certainly well bred. And uh, thanks very much, guys, and congratulations once again. We haven't got uh, the groom here, so we'll ask uh, maybe Nick just to take the winning groom check as well and the Vasco's voucher. And uh, thank you very much. Richard, thanks very much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Great to have you back here in the Western Cape and uh, a very nice win from Crown Towers and a bit of a jolt in terms of the exotics. But certainly we've got some great runners still to come.